So my friend Sarah had been seeing pictures of all these halibut I was catching, and she started asking me to take her halibut fishing and teach her how to fish with a swim bait and a jerk bait and what to look for. She's really successful at bait and weight fishing in the surf, so she also offered to teach me how she does that. So I agreed. We picked a day, picked a beach, and I got out on the water about an hour early. I believe the best presentation for a swim bait is dragging it very slowly and steadily on bottom. I do not add any action to the bait. That means no twitching or jigging to try and entice a fish. You can keep your rod tip perfectly still and just crank your reel nice and slow. And I'm experimenting with a 7 16 ounce bullet weight. A little bit heavier than a 3 8 ounce, which I usually use. Keep putting a bow in your line so you know the bait is sinking to the bottom. But keep that line just taut enough to sense a tap or a thump. I think of it like this. If you've ever tried to shoot a moving target, you know the slower and more steady the target moves, the easier it is to hit. I think the halibut will hit your swim bait with more confidence and fully inhale the bait when it's moving slow and steady, so give them an easy target. I believe if you twitch and jig your bait or if you retrieve it too fast, it's less likely to get a bite, and if it does get a bite, it's more likely to get tail bit. That's when a halibut only bites the back half of the bait. I gotta tell you, I rarely ever get a tail bite on my swim baits. 90% of the time, my bait gets completely inhaled, and it's a keeper about half of the time. And I believe those results have everything to do with dragging my bait on bottom as slowly and steadily as I possibly can. I'm gonna do a really slow retrieve, give that fish a chance to see it and grab it. Slow, steady retrieve, so it's an easy target. So slow your bait down and just try and drag it as slowly and steadily as possible. If you start getting hung up on rocks on the bottom and you determine the bottom is too snaggy for that retrieve, then I suggest using a floating jerk bait like the Battlestar 115 instead. You could just drop the weight on your swim bait down to 3 eighths of an ounce and then just slowly swim it through the water column without dragging on bottom. This works pretty well too, but you might get short bites when you're swimming through the water column. So in that case, I suggest using the jerk bait instead because it has the treble hook on the back of the bait. So short bites are no problem. And when you use a floating jerk bait, you can pause and let it float up off the bottom to avoid snagging on rocks. Okay, that's enough talking swim bait technique. Let's get on with the show. All right guys, so the right way to measure a halibut is to lay your tape under the fish so it's flat. Make sure you pull it taut so it's accurate. Make sure the mouth of the halibut is closed and you measure it to the middle of the tail, not the corner tips of the tail. I just made like my, I walked her out here to the sandbar, started casting. On my first cast, I think I, I hooked up. I had a fish on. It came up out of the water, jumped and then came off and swam away. So we're looking for the next one now. Sarah's over there with a the bait caster throwing a jerk bait. She can cast like a champ. I'm really impressed. Spend a lot of time out here scouting these beaches. That's that's the only reason why I'm able to find the fish. Go for it. The next one's yours. It's yours, Sarah. I got a keeper on right now. I got a nice keeper. Went for a nice run. Oh yeah, we got a nice big one. Come on. Come on. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that looks like a keeper. Let's measure this. This fish was just on the line, so I decided to send her home just to be safe. As a general rule, I won't keep a halibut unless it's at least one eighth of an inch or one quarter of an inch over the 22 inch mark. Oh, just under. It's just under. Look. You really don't want to get a ticket for a short halibut. It's really not worth it. After that, Sarah caught her first halibut on a swim bait in the surf. All right, so Sarah just got her first halibut on the swim bait. Looks like it's probably about 21 inches. Way to go, Sarah, on the Texas rig. 
a 21 inch beauty which she released with pride. Okay, All right, here comes the release. There you go. Then I hooked up on my second halibut of the day. I gotta tell you how I caught this one. So whenever I'm halibut fishing in the surf, one of my general rules is to wade out anywhere shallow and cast anywhere deep. But don't just walk out past all the shallow stuff without giving a few casts first. You really want to fish the water first and then move into it. Now this is worth talking about. You see, this is one of my favorite spots and after fishing it so many times, I finally came to understand the structure of this beach. The entire beach is basically a huge trough and I'm fishing the mouth of that trough. And what I managed to do today was walk all the way out to the last sandbar and cast past it even deeper into the mouth of the trough. This was only possible because the tide was extremely low. So now I know if there's going to be a mega minus tide, this is one spot I might consider so I can go do that. I must stress, anytime you have the opportunity to wade way out on a big sandbar and then cast into the deep mouth of the cut, go for it. I think that's where you'll find the most fish and the biggest fish. Just be careful, if the tide starts to rise again, you could potentially get trapped out there. So be sure to do this on an outgoing tide and then get back on the beach before the tide rises too far again. So as the tide goes out, you look for, you know, you can go out further and further. You keep looking for those shallow sandbars to stand on. Just look for the next one and the next one and the next one. And it makes me wish that I had stilts. I don't know if anyone's ever worn stilts in the surf, but man, that would be a huge advantage. Huge, 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 huge. If there could be some kind of stilts that we could stand on, like have like big old long six foot legs and then just walk out into the surf. Oh my God, that would be such an advantage. Okay, so I got all the way out there. It was really cool. I've never been able to get all the way out there and cast way out past the first sandbar. I've never been able to do that before. That was freaking awesome. But I noticed it is now 8.45 p.m. The tide has been rising for about 25 minutes. I do not want to be way out there while the tide is rising or I could get stuck out there. So I came back into, oh damn. So I came back into some shallow, shallow spot where I'm safe. But I'm looking forward to coming back uh, on a low tide and get out there while the tide is still going out and fish out there. I really want to get out there and fish out there. Sarah is really good at fishing. She slays the bass. Now we're getting on some halibut today. It's freaking awesome. Sarah and I happened to run into my buddy Jason Hill on the beach, so he joined us and we all ended up catching and it turned into a really fun day. So after pounding this beach for several hours, we decided to switch beaches and switch gears to a bait and wait approach. Something I haven't done a whole lot of, so Sarah's gonna teach me how. And then I think we're gonna move spots and pull out the beach chairs, go get on the sand, and throw out some bait and weight rods. Get out of our waders. Thank you, Ilya Seltzer, for the beef stick, bro. The Daiwa beef stick. Thank you. I'm finally getting to use it. This nice big 10 foot rod. Someone just hooked us up with a fresh squid. They got fresh squid on their boat. We're gonna whip this baby out there. I'm stoked. Holy smokes. Dude, it really launched. Stick her in the... There we go. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna set the drag, kick back and eat some pizza. Oh, Sarah's getting almost wiped out, dude. Look at her go. One thing I noticed about Sarah is when she launches a bait, she wades way out there through the waves and launches it out as far as she can. It's really fun to watch her do this. Now this clip is too fun. Watch as Sarah gets completely wiped out by a wave. Damn salad. Nobody ordered a salad. Sarah, it's really fun watching Sarah fish. Always, always amusing. She's a badass too, check her out. She's going deep. Damn. Oh my god, she really goes out there. Oh no, I hope the bikini doesn't fall off. Nice. Oh my god, she's down! She lost her hat! 
Yes, dude, there's one, a blooper. Wow. Not the top zone. I'm not. <laughs> Sarah's got a fish. Is that a fish? Yeah, Sarah's got a fish. Dude, Sarah knows how it's done. You're over me. Let me put my rod down. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's got to be a nice fish. That's got to be a shark or a... What do you guys think it is? For Stingray, choose option A. For Shovel Nose Shark, choose option B. Oh, that's a good fish, whatever it is. It's taking a while to get it in. Way to go, Sarah. Fighting like a champ. Hey, if you bring in a perch, I'm gonna laugh pretty hard. Oh, that's something bigger than a perch. Oh, you got a shark on there. You got a leopard shark. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see that fishy. Wow, shovel nose. Yeah. There we go. Way to go, Sarah. After that, Sarah's rod got knocked over by a wave and almost got washed away. I managed to run over there and grab it just in time. All right, we had a little excitement there. Sarah's rod got pulled over, it just fell over and uh, it was getting dragged out into the ocean. So I ran after it and grabbed it, and saved it just in time. This is a Carolina rig with a sandworm? Yep. Cool. I got a couple dinks. <laughs> Way to go, Sarah, with the little leopard. <laughs> Good, yeah. All in all, it was a really fun day. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. I remember when this town was young. The roads were empty and the I love fishing. I just love it. It's so cool. I recall us having lots of fun. Wait up for the sunrise just to listen to her.